Hi ladies, we need to do an eyeshadow look, get back in the swing of things. Now that all of our Black Friday is done, holiday releases, let's play with some eyeshadows. So the combo that I'm going to use today is Butterscotch, Bird, and Foxy. I'm feeling like these rusty vibes, okay? So we're gonna play with these colors. Easy three, let's do it, okay? Taking my eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna come into my butterscotch first. That is more of my medium matte color that I wanna play around with, create as my base, okay? So I'm gonna come in and I'm just going to do this windshield wiper across my lid to begin with. That's where I want most of the pigment to go. And then I'm just going to slowly blend it right on up into my brow bone. So I'm kind of dissipating that color, still bringing some warmth up in this area, but now it's not gonna be a stark contrast from my lid up to my brow bone. See how easy that is, okay? Just simple, come in with that medium matte color and do a wash all over the place first, and then you go into your next color. Okay, this one is bird, so I'm gonna bring in a little bit more of those browns and neutrals, but I wanna add a little bit of depth and dimension towards the outside of my eye. So I'm gonna flip over to this more dense and compact side. I'm gonna dip right on in to bird, tap off any excess so I don't have fallout. I will teach you at the end how you can easily clean it up if you do. But when you come in with this darker color, remember wherever you place your brush first, is where the most pigment's gonna go. So when I come to the outside of my eye, I'm just going to place a little bit of that color and then I'm gonna come right up into my brow bone. Okay, so you don't need a whole bunch of product. We're just literally kind of stamping that right in. Any excess, I'm gonna take right underneath my lash line to about the midpoint just so I can have this beautiful smudge eyeline look. And notice how I'm kind of pulling it up. I'm meeting back up with right around my brow bone area. So now it may look a little dirty right now, right? Because we just have that product kind of just shoved in there. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip on over to that big fluffy side of your eyeshadow brush. And we're just gonna start working this color in by doing these little circles Keeping the color towards the outside, you can come to about midpoint, but that's where we wanna keep that smoky eye look. And because I have partially hooded eyes, I wanna make sure that I am bringing that color above my brow bone a little bit. If you don't have hooded eyes, don't worry about it. You can just use your brow bone right here as a reference point. But if you do have hooded eyes, think of just bringing it above a little bit so that way you can see it. All right, I'm gonna come into my cleansing tile. I wanna get that dark color off. And without anything on, I am just blending this right up by my brow bone here. If you wanted, you could always come in with a little bit more butterscotch. I just wanna take the edge off, okay? All right, now I'm gonna come in to my shimmer, which is Foxy. You know me, I like using the pad of my finger because it has natural oils, it's gonna pick up more pigment and it's easier to transfer to my lid. Now with this color, what I wanna do is I wanna keep it more towards that inner corner and do that ombre or fan out from that inner corner to about that midpoint, okay? So I'm kind of meeting up where bird started to come in and just pulling it across. Now you can decide how much pigment that you want you could always come in with your brush if you wanted to and add a little bit underneath your lash line as well just to pull some of that color and shimmer in, but you could do that as well. For me, I just want something super simple. When I go out, people are going to notice that shimmer right away because it's in that inner corner and it just speaks loudly enough the way it is. Now, if you had any type of fallout, what I do is whatever brush you were using, for your under eye, just come back in. You can either just use whatever is left on it. If you wanna come into a little bit more of your brightener, you can always do that. See how very minimal I'm doing? And just take it right back out. So we're picking up and pulling any excess fallout. 
And now I can create a little bit more of that tight line right up in this corner as we pull right out into our temple. And it just helps clean it up, okay? If you had any here, it is now gone. I'm just blending it right down into that area. So I have that brightness, have a little bit of smoky eye going on along with the shimmer. Let me show you Foxy. Foxy is one of my favorites when it comes to shimmer because it packs a punch. But that's how beautiful she is once you put her on. So you can determine how much that you want on your lid, just a subtle amount, or you can go full glam. Totally up to you. But there you have it. I will make sure to drop all the colors in the comments so you have them for reference. Otherwise, let me know when you give this one a try.